Well, I don't know about where you live, but in Vancouver, houses are really expensive, and so are apartments, and so are condos and dogs. Actually, no, dogs aren't more expensive, but places to live are certainly more expensive, so having a smaller computer is probably a good thing. Today, I have an unboxing of a very fully featured small form factor computer from Shuttle, although there's no actual functional computer in this box. This is a bare bones, which means you have to add a CPU, memory, a drive, an operating system, and I guess that's pretty much it. So basically what it is, is a motherboard, a case, and a power supply. Now, what's cool about this product to me is the fact that it is the first one that both the crazy Russian and myself have directly influenced during the design phase. So when Shuttle did their H67 bare bones, we suggested to them that because uh, LGA1155 produces such low power and yet capable gaming CPUs, they should make the system a little bit more gaming capable themselves by adding um, additional capacity to the power supply. So Shuttle went ahead and took our suggestion and ran with it I mean, we like to think it was we were the only ones who suggested it, but we probably weren't. So we the, took our suggestion and ran with it, and this bare bones computer actually includes a beefy enough power supply that you could install a fairly high powered graphics card in it. So check this out. This is an 80 plus bronze, where are we here? I remember someone told me already what it is, and I know that it's beefy, but I don't know exactly what the capacity is. We're gonna have to find this out, just a sec. So yes, it is a 500 watt continuous power supply, which means, yes, you can throw a quad core CPU in here, no problem. You can throw a decent graphics card in here, also no problem, and you can load it up to the gills with all the hardware you want with, yes, once again, no problem. So I'll show you guys the basics of the inside. So right here, you've got support for two three and a half inch drives, as well as some do not eat silica gel. Let's go ahead and slide this baby back. You've also got support for one five and a quarter inch drive. So you just mount everything onto this right here and then slide the whole thing back in. It comes with two SATA cables, your thermal compound, your mounting screws, your socket cover, as well as your power cable and your full color quick installation guide. Once you get the drives out of the way, you can actually see the rest of the internals. So here we go. Here is our front USB 3, which is included and already even plugged in with the unit. Here's our front USB 2, as well as our front panel audio. I'll show you guys the front panel in just a moment. Here's all of the rest of our internal connectors. So let's see what we got here, you guys. We've got, oh, check this out. That's right. Dual PCIe, one eight pin, one six pin. Very, very nice. We've also got support for one, two, three, four SATA connectors. So that means you can throw a bunch of two and a half inch drives and run like a, a RAID array off them or something if you want. We've got two uh, Molex four pins and one floppy connector coming off this power supply. That is in addition to the, oh man, look at this. It's got an eight pin CPU power connector over here. So they're only using four pins because that's all we really need for this, as well as the 24 pin connector. So that is a truly beefy power supply. We've also got a very um, capable looking cooling system on the VRM here. And I think that pretty much covers the power side of things. So Shuttle has also, I mean, along the lines of making this very capable of putting a very capable machine inside, included four DIMM slots, four SATA connectors, as well as a couple of mini PCIe uh, connectors here. So you could put like a Wi-Fi card here. Look at that. It also, oh, look at that. Intel SRT support and SATA only. Oh, very neat. So they've included that functionality as well. See, that's the thing about a small form factor desktop is the kind of stuff that's normally reserved for notebooks tends to uh, tends to find its way in there. So just for heat reasons, I really don't think that I, I would expect to put anything bigger than about a GTX 560 in here, even though the reality of it is with a 500 watt power supply, you could probably do like a dual core and a 570. Um, I still wouldn't really recommend that, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how a 560 will fit. Then I'm going to put the case back on 
and then I will show you the outside of the unit now that we've... Oh, we should look at the cooling solution first. Sorry, guys. So it uses push pins, which are not my favorite, but as long as you're only going to use it a couple times, I guess it's not the end of the world. And then there are three heat pipes that lead up to what appears to be a 92 millimeter cooling fan, which has a shroud sort of functionality built into it. So it's a little distance away. You can see the shroud here from a radiator that sits right at the back of the unit. So the entire unit is cooled by this fan and this fan, this one for the CPU and this one for the power supply. So let's go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to install a graphics card in here. I have no idea. I'm just assuming that it's easy based on shuttles that I've used in the past being fairly easy to install things in in spite of their uh, small stature. So let's go ahead and position the graphics card correctly, push down on it, and there we go. So you can see that there is plenty of room for my graphics card, even once I have installed, so let's go ahead and throw this baby back in here. My, hold on. I have to, give me a sec to get these cables out of the way, guys. The card's in, the drive tray is back in. I'm just going to show you guys a quick view of what the interior looks like once you've got that card installed. So yeah, it's a little cramped, but that's sort of the reality when you're running a shuttle PC. So here's the reason for my suggestion that you only really take it up as high as maybe a, a GTX 560 rather than going all the way to those enthusiast class cards. And that is how much ventilation space you're going to have for that graphics card. So shuttle has in their wisdom included Ventilation holes right here, which means that those fans do have direct access to cool air from the outside, which will then be exhausted uh, through the CPU heatsink and then out the back of the case. Let's actually have a closer look at the back of the case. So this is what it'll look like once you install a graphics card. Remember, this is a Z68 chipset, so you do have support for LucidLogix Hydra. That means Intel SRT, even if you do have a graphics card installed because it does have onboard video. We've also got eSATA as well as USB 2, USB 3, gigabit ethernet, a clear CMOS button, which is uh, kind of unique to see on like a, I mean, you would typically expect these smaller form factor machines to be more value oriented, but there you go. It's, it's there, cool. As well as our back audio 7.1. We've also got SPDIF, that's optical audio out, our power in, so that's on the back of the power supply. And moving over along to this side, we've got a nice brushed metal finish. This is sort of my expectation with Shuttle. They do a good job of the finish of their machines. You can see the top as well. And then let's have a look at the front of the box. So this eject button, sorry, I pushed it in. There's nothing, there's nothing resisting it right now because there's no optical drive installed. So that's, uh, that's the problem there. We've got room for, oh, is there space for two five and a quarter inch drives? It would appear that there is. Let me find that out for you. Oh no, there isn't. Here we go. Here we go. So that's where you can put like a media card reader or something like that. Okay, and then here we've got our front panel. So that's front panel USB 3. That's a total of four USB 3 ports, two USB 2, and there's your microphone jack. Remember, there wasn't one on the back. It is on the front, as well as your front headphone port. And so you can see gorgeous little brushed finish on the front here as well. So thank you for checking out. Oh, there's your power button, just like that. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at, I never actually even said the model. This is the Shuttle SZ68RS. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and yeah, that's the box for it. Thank you very much for that. And other computer videos.